Hold up. <laughs> Whoa. These wheels are definitely, these wheels are definitely very much gripping. I would not recommend them for dancing. Hey everybody, I got new skates, black boardwalk skates, and I figured I would set them up right here on camera and share with y'all and then do a little review. Currently, I already have Moxie Lolly roller skates and I absolutely love those. But I figure, hey, I think it will be fun to try a different type of skate. I have these old laces that I started to put in, but I'm gonna take these out because they're, they're just not the vibe that I want. And my new laces came in, which are these spark, sparkly derby laces. They are sparkly teal that I got from Pigeon's Roller Skate Shop. This is much, this is much more the vibe I was going for. So yeah, these are the skates. I'll put more information about them down in the description below. So I literally, it says sure grip on the bottom and I have sure grip wheels. But anyway, I was gonna say, I literally got these. I bought them from a stranger in a Facebook group. <laughs> so shout out to you. I will put your name here and in the description because I'm blanking, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. And this, this person who sold them to me, they wore them maybe once and then they were like, they don't fit, who wants them? And I snagged them real quick. So I got my skates, I got my laces, I'm gonna put the laces on. So excited, by the way, I am wearing a bonnet, I just realized, <laughs> on camera and I'm just gonna leave it in. And if you don't like it, then you're anti-black and I can weed you out of my <laughs> YouTube space. But yeah, I'm just in my house. It's like 8.30 right now and the bonnet is soft and cozy and I'm gonna wear it. It's one thing about me. Oh my goodness. The teal looks really good against the black so far. Let me back up a little bit so you can see me lacing these up. I'm gonna do, oh, trying to make it even, I'm gonna do a zigzag pattern with the laces. And then I will get those wheels on. The only thing is I took the bearings out of these sure grip wheels that I think may have come with these skates. I'm not sure. But anyway, I took the bearings out. So now I need to steal the bearings from a different set of wheels that I have. <laughs> I have Moxie gummy wheels that I don't use anymore. Those are some wheels that I used when I was a super uber beginner. And, oh no, where are they? Not, they're not in there, where did I put them? I used the gummy wheels when I was first starting out because they were very, very, well, gummy and soft. And slow to roll these. Highly recommend these for beginners. So yeah, I'm going to take the bearings out of these wheels and put them into these sure grip wheel hardness. So let's see, sure grip. Currently I am used to skating in my 
Moxie Lolly Skates, and I have been using Moxie Funday wheels, which are at a hardness of 92A, which are sort of an in-between hardness, I would say. They're good for absorbing little debris outdoors, but they're also good, they're hard enough that I can dance and I can move my way around the floor, the skating rink. So they're a good hardness for what I wanna do. The wheels that I'm going to be putting on my boardwalk skates are Sure Grip Aerobic. And the hardness to those are 85A. So these are softer than what I'm used to. So we'll see what happens there. I need to take the bearings out of my old wheels, which are Moxie Gummy, super, super soft. So Gummy wheels are, it looks like 78 hardness. And you can't really tell from here, but the Gummy wheels are a lot bigger. They're like wider, although the Sure Grip are still pretty wide as well. So there's that. Let's keep lacing up here. Wait, I messed this up. How do I want to lace these? How do I want to? There are so many different ways that you can lace up your skates. So I need to make a decision. What am I doing? Okay, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go under and over. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna go under, over. under over I'm gonna go under over and left over right so already I messed up oh my god I think I want to go over under <laughs> y'all this is a lot it's my thought process whenever I am changing my laces or changing anything with my skates it's not smooth. You're getting the real behind the scenes, the real struggle. I'm really big on my lacing job <laughs> looking good. Some people will say, you know, they're going to judge me for caring so much about the aesthetics, but I don't care. I want my skates to look good. Now, is looking good more important than safety? No, but I also know how to be safe when I'm out here rolling. I think that it's okay though to want your skate set up to look sparkly and cute. Nothing wrong with that. Don't let people make fun of you or tell you that you shouldn't care about aesthetics. Do what you want, man. Haha. -ha. It's done. Ha <laughs> ha. Looking fresh. Right. So now I'm going to put on the red. What do you think? The red with the teal laces. I don't really have much of a choice because my other choice is purple gummy wheels and I really don't wanna use the gummy wheels because they're just too bulky and a little bit too soft for my liking. So what I need to do is take the bearings out of my Moxie gummy wheels and put them into the new Sure Grip wheels. So this is gonna be a process. So I might speed this up a little bit. The gummies and the sure grip. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure that if you are 
if you're buying bearings, if, you, if you're buying new bearings, two, four, six, that you get enough. <laughs> Make sure that you're getting two packs because they only come in eight and you need 16. You need two for each wheel. Classic rookie mistake. Same thing with buying wheels too. I'm not sure if it's like this with every brand, but the, the last, I can't remember if it was like this for the Moxie Fun Day, but for Radar Energy, which are another wheel that I love to have in here. These, oh, I lied. I don't have them in there because I, a friend is borrowing them. Anyway, the Radar Energy, they only come in um, four in a pack. So you need to get two. Yeah, the Radar Energy wheels come in a four pack, which is like, Bro, why would you package them like that when I have two skates? You know that I need eight wheels. Well, why don't you just come in an eight pack? I don't get that, but yeah. Make sure that you read the labels before you buy things, you beginners out there. It will save you a lot of hassle. All right, let's get these bearings off my old wheels. Here we go. Hopefully the bearings fit. Yes, they fit. Next one. Nice. Eight second rule. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It spins for eight seconds. Looks good. Eight second rule, eight second test is something that I just discovered. If you watch, if you've watched my other videos, you've seen me do that before. But the eight second test, it ensures that your wheel is spinning well you want it to spin for at least eight seconds all right one shoe is done and it's looking good i just realized that the way the way that i did that initial crisscross on my first skate for the laces i don't like that i don't like that but should I change it? No, it's not worth it. It looks fine, but it's just not really how I wanted it to look. So I'm gonna do it the wrong, quote unquote, wrong way on my other skate, just because I want them to look the same. <laughs> the other thing too that, I don't know about anyone else, but my left and right skates, the, the crisscross direction, I do not like to make mine symmetrical. I always like to have the left one crossing over the right, like on both skates, you know? I just realized that, actually. Does anyone else always do the same crisscross design, whether it's right over left or left over right? Do you do left over right on one skate and right over left on the other one? What do you do? How do you lace up? Do you not even think about which one is going over the other? Do you just put the laces through the holes and hope for the best? 
I feel like I should make the most of this oh, this time. It's gonna, why am I out of breath from lacing a skate? I should make the most out of this time that I'm spending right now. We should talk about something. Something important in the skate community right now. Hmm. The first thing that came to my mind was something that's just a little too heavy. But you know what? No, I'm, I'm going to talk about it. And this has to do with me not feeling like I have a safe space outside to skate without being bullied away. So, for example, now I want to put a disclaimer. I want to preface what I'm about to say with, I know that there are probably some people listening to this who don't have anywhere to skate near them at all, like no parks or anything like that. So to you, I totally hear you and I am not at all with my discussion of me not feeling safe at my parks, trying to diminish the fact that you don't have anywhere to go at all. And here I am complaining that my parks aren't good enough. You know, I, I know how I may come across, how I may sound to some people who don't have anything at all. So I just, I do want to acknowledge that I am lucky to have parks near me. I do have skate parks that I feel safe going to. However, yes, done lacing this one. However, what I was getting at is the fact that, yes, although I have a skate park near me, I do not have a park, just a regular park that I feel safe going to. So, you know, just a regular park where there are benches, you'll probably see a kid's jungle gym, a basketball court, usually a tennis court. There are a bunch of parks like that near me, and I've been to all of them, and there's only one no. Nope, none of them. None of the parks. I don't feel safe at any of the parks. For a few reasons. And I wonder if anyone can relate. So, first of all, I don't feel safe at one park because on multiple occasions I was followed and harassed by a man and that was not not a great experience somebody followed me. someone was watching me basically while I was skating and I thought you know oh it's just some guy he's chilling on his bike don't assume don't make assumptions um, but then I made the mistake of waving to him and I think he took that as an invitation to come on over and talk to me. He then proceeded to ask me if I wanted to go skate with him and that he would tie a rope to his bike and I could hold on to the rope and he could pull me. And I said, nicely, you know, no thank you. Of course, in my head I was thinking, hell no. That sounds like kidnapping to me. I'm going to pass. <laughs> and so when I said no thanks, he rode away. Uh, and so I continued skating. I think I was filming a video, and I was 
on a tennis court at the time. I continued skating and filming my video for about a half hour, and then I walked home. And on my way home, same dude started to approach me with his bike. And he would, <clears throat> yes, looks good. He would not leave me alone. And I started to get uncomfortable. I was nice at first because I'm just, I was pretty much scared that he would, you know, I don't know him. So I just, you never know, you know? If you know, you know. I won't get into what, what can happen to women if, if a guy, uh, just moving on. Um, so he was following me, blah, 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 right? Where was I? Uh, and he kept, he was being persistent and asking me, you know, what's your name? Where are you going? And just a billion questions. And yeah, I was just very uncomfortable. And he kept trying to convince me to come to his house. And this is a guy I just met that day. And I could kind of tell by then that he was really not all there, you know. And so I said, <laughs> I said um, that I pretended that a friend was calling me on the phone. And he knew I was lying and he got really pissed and rode away. Um, can't remember what he said, but it was not appropriate. So there's this other park I went to and I was on the tennis courts and a woman was not happy that me and a friend were on the tennis courts. And so she proceeded to get us to leave. But it's the way in which she did this that really, really was, I hate to use the word sketchy because that word is often used to describe black people and black neighborhoods. But yeah, I'm just gonna say she was sketchy. She was, she said, you need to leave. Basically, I, I have her on video saying it in my last YouTube video, but she said something like, you need to leave before somebody calls the authorities. So we left and it's like, lady, nothing is really that serious. So, and there, there are a bunch of other things that have happened where I just don't feel safe. And it's really a shame. I don't think it's because of this area per se, because overall I love where I live. I feel safe here love the people I think it's just what comes with being oh no I I'm getting distracted by this talk I put it on the wrong I put my bearings on the wrong wheel I think that these are things the things I'm describing right now are things that come with being a girl being a woman today, especially today, which is sad.
Can anyone relate to this? I'm, I know I'm rambling, but, and it's not because I skate alone. It helps not to be by yourself, but in some of these instances, I was with one or two, one or at least one or two other skaters were with me. And we all get harassed. We all get creeped on. It's disgusting. <laughs> okay. On a lighter note, both skates are done. They look beautiful. It's the teal shoelaces, and they're sparkly. You can't really tell, though. And red Sure Grip aerobic wheels. So I'm going to put them on now and see how they roll. So I, I sort of cut myself off abruptly because I don't want... This video was not supposed to be me complaining and talking about what there's a fly and it is not flying away that's weird um, <laughs> um that that's really weird hold up hold on i'm gonna take that fly outside This fly, I just, I just scooped him up and I, <laughs> I took this fly outside. Oh my God, I can't. I'm really out here saving the house flies. Oh my God, what is this video? <laughs> oh yeah, the subject has already been changed. It's, I've gone, I've delved too far from it at this point to go back, but my point was I didn't want to get too deep and sound like I'm a downer because I'm not. I love skating. Work with skating is amazing. It's so fun. Everybody should do it. No matter what your gender, just be aware that, especially if you're black and a girl, you won't get harassed, okay? But I'll save more of that for another video. Let me put these on and see how they roll. But like I said before, I am used to... Moxie lollies. Which are... Very different. From Boardwalk. First of all... These, this boot feels thicker than the lollies. Like my, it really feels thicker. My, um, yeah, the tongue is definitely thicker as well. My lollies feel like, it feels like I'm slipping on a sock. Speaking of, I don't have socks down here so I'm just gonna go barefoot for now all right so far it's feeling cozy so right away I noticed that this boot is thicker and I don't know it feels like it's a little bit lower than the moxie lolly maybe not but when i here, i'll get closer when i point my toe you can see that there's some space right there and when i flex my feet you can see there's some space underneath but if i were to do this i don't know if you can even see that but if i were to do that in my moxie lolly 
you would not see a gap there because it's just, like I said, it's as if I'm wearing a sock. It just goes zoop and it, it goes right up against uh, my skin. So not better or worse, but so far very different. I'm gonna put on the other one. I'll definitely have to see if it feels, well, I know it'll feel different, but just see how different it feels in socks. But right now, I'm not really that pressed to go get my socks. Cause I just wanted to put them on to just get a general feel and also so that I can feel out the wheels a little bit. All right, this one feels, I made the left one a little bit tighter. Okay, this is weird, man. <laughs> Let's get this microphone cord out of the way. And let's see. Oh, my goodness. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to film myself, whoa, doing some basic moves and just see if I feel a difference. So already I feel a difference in my balance. Already I feel a little bit less balanced than I feel in my moxie lollies. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like, whoa! Whoa. The wheels are definitely gripping. Let's see if I can turn. I'm gonna turn around toe stop. Okay. First thing make sure the camera can pick it up. First thing I want to do is a turnaround toe stop. <laughs> that wasn't really what I wanted to do. Right, turnaround toe stop, let's do it. Okay. Turn around, toe stop. How about a transition? Transition. Whoop! <laughs> Got too close to this table. Skating backwards. Ooh, the wheels are definitely bigger than what I'm used to. But I think I'm getting the hang of it. The last thing I want to try is spins. These 
wheels are definitely, these wheels are definitely very much gripping. I would not recommend them for dancing, but I would definitely, yeah, it's, um, I would definitely recommend it for, you know, I don't know, I don't know. Zero move. Okay, I can do the zero. It's it's hard for me to spin in these, I will say. And if you've seen my videos before, I can easily do a double spin. It's like a piece of cake for me, so this is weird. Feeling a little off. Now, of course, it might also have to do with the skates being different from what I'm used to feeling, and I'll have to get used to that. All in all, I would give this setup, with respect to the type of skating I would like to do, which is jam skating, I would give this a 6 out of 10. The wheels are too big and too soft. The skates are, uh, I don't know. The skates are just too stiff, a little bit too stiff for what I, what I want to do. I think it would be okay if they didn't come up so high right so if they were the same stiffness but it didn't come above my ankle because then i'd be able to get low that's another move i should have tried before getting low squat it's hard to do because it's really pressing up hard against the front of my ankle and doing that a lot it's gonna hurt over time so my moxie lollies are definitely going to be my go-to when it comes to my dancing and the F moxie fun day wheels are still going to be my go-to when it comes to spinning and doing different types of footwork on the rink however if you are literally just wanting to skate at the boardwalk these are called boardwalk skates then they're perfect and these wheels would work very well for skating at the boardwalk getting over the little ridges the little cracks it will absorb those cracks so that you will not be tripping and falling i'm definitely going to use these again maybe for trail skating definitely i'll have to make sure that i wear socks with these especially because they are Stiff. They're a little stiff. And I can see, I can already feel myself getting sore and I've only been wearing these for 10 minutes now. Well, I hope that you have gotten something out of this video. And my Moxie Fun Day wheels, man. I swear to those, if you, if you want to do jam skating and you want to do different types of footwork, I highly recommend the Fun Day wheels. They're also good for skating outside and skating ramps, all of which I do. All right, y'all, if any of you want a more detailed description of those Moxie Fun Day wheels that I was just describing, which I'm obsessed with, go ahead and click the video right here and make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel if you'd like more videos like this, as well as breakdowns of dance moves and different maintenance related things having to do with roller skating, as well as some motivational content to help you with your mindset because it's really all about the mind. You've got to believe in yourself. <laughs> See you in the next one.